Good morning all. My name is Muktar Suleiman. On behalf of the Ahmadi Wedding West Area West to Work Management Team, which is made up of eight members drawn from the fields of polymer and textile engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, and environmental engineering, I present to you the production of nano footwears from waste plastics and waste automobile tires. The thematic areas addressed by this project are fostering economic prosperity, climate change and environmental protection. Plastics waste pollution is a major environmental problem globally. According to Richie and Rosa, in 2015 about 750 million tons of plastics waste were generated. And they projected that at the end of 2020, about 1 billion tons of plastics will be generated. Of these plastics were generated, 55% are discarded in the environment, about 20% are incinerated, and only 20% are recycled. Nigeria, with a population of about 201 million people, generates high solid waste, of which 130 million tons are plastic waste. And with the increase in the number of vehicles, Nigeria generates about 750 million tons of waste automobile tires annually. This data is gotten from the Federal Ministry of Environment. In this project, we are interested in collecting the two wastes, that is the waste plastics and the waste automobile tires, as raw materials to produce footwear. This picture shows a common household plastics, which is dumped into the environment. This picture shows how waste tires are dumped into the environment, causing land feed problems, and how these tires are burnt incessantly. The aim of this work is to convert the waste plastics and the waste automobile tires into footwear using nanotechnology. We are going to fabricate machines locally that will convert the waste tires into nano size and we are going to fabricate also machines here in Nigeria that will make the waste plastics then we will blend the two components together to get footwear. The problems to be tackled by this project are one, environmental pollution. Like we said earlier, 55% of plastic waste are discarded in the environment and 25% are incinerated. Now, a clean environment can be contaminated by these waste plastics. You can see a road is now being occupied almost halfway by waste plastics. And our drainage systems can also be blocked completely by these waste plastics. These waste plastics, as tiny as they are, they are not biodegradable, and as such, they can last 1,000 years in the environment. Now, the blockade of drainage channels in Nigeria has been identified as one of the major causes of flood in Nigeria. This picture shows a recent flood case in Nigeria, one of the densely populated cities in Nigeria, which is Lagos. You can see the flooded street has been completely occupied by waste plastics. This shows the huge amount of plastics that have been deposited in the environment, thereby blocking the drainage system. Statistics show that the about 90% of the solid waste that blocks the drainage, uh, blocks, uh, drainage channels are made up of plastics. Secondly, we have high cost of importation of footwear into the country. Data from the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment show that in 2015, Nigeria spent about 6.7 trillion naira importing goods into Nigeria that can be manufactured here locally. And this includes footwear. In, in 2015, about 123 billion naira was spent importing footwear in the country. This figure keeps increasing. And in 2019, about 135 billion naira was spent importing these footwear into the country. These footwear, we are capable of manufacturing them here in Nigeria. Now, this project, with this project, we are going to create a manufacturing plant that will be able to uh, produce footwear, thereby saving Nigeria this huge sum of money 
that is spent importing food waste in the country. Thirdly, Nigeria has a high unemployment rate. Data from the National Bureau of Statistics revealed that at the end of uh, the second quarter of 2020, the unemployment rate in Nigeria stands at about 27.1%. This indicates that about 21.7 million Nigerians are currently unemployed. And the worst hit of this group are the youths. Data also revealed that about 13.9 million youths are currently unemployed. And these figures keep rising because in Nigeria, we do not have sufficient industries to balance to accommodate the increasing number of students that have been graduated annually or quarterly from federal, uh, federal universities, state universities, polytechnics, federal colleges of education. And so, uh, there is no balance at all to accommodate, there are no industries to accommodate this graduate. This project is going to create a manufacturing plant that is capable of accommodating 150,000 persons directly and creating about 1 million jobs indirectly for Nigerians. innovative solution. In this project, we are going to employ nanotechnology. We are going to fabricate indigenous machines here in this country that will convert waste plastics and waste to materials to food waste. And by employing nanotechnology, our products are going to be light. The food waste that will result from this project are going to be very light. Hence, the brand name ProLite. And because of the nano size particles, the structural integrity of these footwears is going to be improved. The footwears are going to be light with improved quality due to the nano technology we are going to employ. And this project is capable of converting about 50 million tons of plastic waste annually and about 55 million tons of waste to mobile tires. That is the equivalent of uh, converting about 70% of the waste plastic generated in Nigeria and about 65% of the waste automobile tires generated in Nigeria. Now, our products are in various designs ranging from safety boots, casual shoes that can be used for casual dressing and formal dressing. We also have shoe sole designs that can be used to make footwear for men and women in sports. I will have various designs of footwear that will suit different users of footwear. Methodology We are going to collect waste plastics from five highly generating plastic waste cities in Nigeria. This includes Lagos, Abuja, Kaduna, Kano, and Port Harcourt. We will convert the waste tires. To nano size using nanotechnology, which we are going to build our machines to do that. We will set up a prototype production line, then we will produce our footwear, and finally we will commercialize our product. As we are currently speaking, we have completed the process of obtaining our patent for this innovative idea. And with the much interest of the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, which have recently domesticated the use of nanotechnology to improve, to foster economic development in the country. This project is the first of its kind to employ nanotechnology to convert waste tires to nano size to produce footwear. Then we are going to present this idea to the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. And we are going to open our doors and windows for private investors to come in. Our ProLite is designed to meet different footwear users, which include farmers, students, site engineers, laborers, casual dressers, former dressers, men and women in sports, security personnel, and a whole lot of designs to meet various footwear users. Stakeholders in this project involve the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. Nigeria currently is promoting made in Nigerian products. And this made the federal government to
to give directive that at least 40% of the procurement expenditures of all NBAs of the Federal Ministry should be on items made in Nigeria. And this project from start to finish is going to be wholly made here in Nigeria. So we are going to partner with the Federal Ministry of Industry to promote this made in Nigeria product. The Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, like Ella said, has domesticated the use of nanotechnology to develop for economic prosperity in Nigeria. And through the uh, raw materials strategy, which is much interested in local com content development, we are going to present this idea, we are going to approach them with this idea for support and funding. The Federal Minister of Environment is also much interested in keeping the environment green and clean. And this project, which involves the collection of waste, conversion of waste to wet, is going to keep, boost the economy and as well keep the environment clean. So we are going to involve the Federal Minister of Environment. The Bank of Industry, we are going to approach them for support and funding. Mzuza, which is a non-profit charitable organization, is much interested in, the promote, in promoting um, innovative ideas. So hopefully, we believe that this project is going to gain much support and funding from Mzuza. Private investors, our doors are going to be open for private investors for growth and development. And we have our mother university, Ahmadu Ben University Zaria, is going to provide us space with which we are going to lay down our prototype production line to be showcased to anybody who is interested all over the world. This project is going to be achieved in eight months, with which we are going to fabricate our tire buffing machines and our plastic melting machines within four months. We will collect our plastic waste from the five cities that we have mentioned. We are going to lay down a total production line. We will produce our nano footwears and finally we will market our product. The amount estimated for this project is 5,752,000 naira, which is as shown here. Sustainable plan, this project involves raw materials that are abundant in the environment. As such, we are going to have a huge million tons of plastic waste and waste to continually, continuously feed our production plant. That is going to just meaning that we are not going to have any problem of raw materials at all. The capital, we intend to collect a loan, initial loan of 20 million naira from the back of industry, with which we are going to produce about 150,000 pairs of footwear, and that is capable of generating about 95 million naira within three months. After which, we will no longer collect loans, but we will further open our windows and doors for private investment, investors for growth and development. This project is going to be labor intensive. This project will directly involve about 1,000 persons and indirectly employ about 1 million Nigerians. Investment opportunities, the market for footwear is very large. Nigeria would an estimated population of about 201 million currently, the market is very large for footwear as every individual in the country uses one design of footwear or the other. And we have various designs of footwear to meet various footwear users. The market for this is going to be very large for any investor to come in. Other key features of this product, for now we are focusing on the production of footwear from these two ways. But in sub subsequently, these waste plastics and waste removers can also be made into plastic ties, foot mud, and brake pad. And we, in five years' time, we see this project becoming a commercial hub of footwear manufacturing in Nigeria with an annual revenue of about 1.1 trillion euros. Thank you all for listening.